So what are the policy problems that this network will be able to help us with? Well, I thought I'd just focus on three examples. First, in the area of food. How do we grow the food that the world needs without damaging the soil and the water and the forests that support this production? If we don't address this problem well, we'll be faced with either supply challenges or price spikes of the sort we saw in the 2007-2008 food price crisis or serious environmental impacts. Second, the area of uh, energy. How do we ensure that we've got the mix right in policies to support biofuel production? If we don't get that problem right, we can miss out on an important source of energy, see mass scale environmental damage, or have serious impacts on food supply. <coughs> Third, how do we address the problem of managing scarcity of water and managing the problem of ensuring distribution of water to those most in need? If we can't address that conundrum properly, we'll have the potential to cause waste on, massive, on a massive scale, increased poverty, or even foster conflict. In each of these three examples, it's clear that concentrating on insights from one of the disciplines that are covered by FE2W, one of those disciplines alone would not find the answers that we need. Cross-disciplinary work, together with important insights from the world of policy, will give us a chance of finding the right answers. It's an inspired way of working. I'm privileged to stand beside uh, you all here from this group of uh, 40 individuals from a dozen countries who have come together to address these problems. Professor Quentin Grafton and, and the group of 40 amongst us here have chosen to work in six specific regions of the world. The Volta Basin and the Nile Basin in Africa, the Ganges and Brahmaputra Menya in South Asia, the Mekong in Southeast Asia, the Colorado in North America, and the Murray-Darling Basin in Australia. Quentin also tells me the network has plans to work in South America, but the choice of which basin to work in is still in progress. So how will this group impact on policy? Well, I know that the, the founders of this group, that many of you uh, represent, plan to work with decision makers at all levels, whether it be a farmer or a water minister. Uh, and that, that I think is a very wise choice. That is ensuring that we bring to our work an integrated understanding of the connections and the feedback between food, energy, environment and water. Too often decisions are made, say, to increase food production without thinking about the consequences for water or uh, long-term viability of land. Uh, and our efforts then uh, uh, generally uh, to, to foster sustainable development in these areas.